formal makeup. Basically, I say every woman has their own red carpet moment. And red carpet moments can be whether you're taking your, say you're newly single and you're taking your, you know, um, online dating photograph. It could be a bar mitzvah, it could be a wedding you're attending, it could be your date night. Whatever it is that you've got going on, that's what I call your red carpet moment, which is your formal makeup look. What you want to do is you want to use your same technique that you've done for your natural look, which is your foundation, your concealer, blush, and eyebrows. The only thing that would be different is you're going to pick one feature, which would be either your eyes or your lips. If you're going to do an eye, this is a fantastic time to do a smoky eye. And a smoky eye, again, is done with a cold pencil, and you would do on the, underneath the lash line, on top of the lash line, inside the wet line. You want to smudge it out with an eyeshadow brush, and then do a little bit of a shimmer shadow on top. It can be anything. It can be from copper to purple to navies, to blacks, whatever you want to do. Um, I do suggest that you take in you know, consideration what you're wearing, as we do when I'm working with celebrities, we always take into consideration the dress they're wearing so that you complement the whole entire look for the evening. Um, if you decide to do a dramatic lip, say you want to do a classic red lip, a fantastic tip is to stain your lips before, but remember, it's a commitment. You can use Jello from your kids you know, the sugar-free jello if you're afraid of carbs. But basically the jello will stain your lips. You just basically apply it, you put it in with a little bit of water, you make kind of a paste, you dab it on your lips, you let it sit for about five to 10 minutes. Wipe it off, and then on top of that, you would do your lip stick. When you're doing a lipstick, I prefer that you do not use a lip liner, simply for a more modern, contemporary look. If you're just doing a lip gloss, a nude lip gloss, you can go ahead and use a lip liner, but make sure it's almost the same shade as your lip gloss or your skin or of the lips itself so that you don't have that, you know, line, brown liner, you know, pink inside look. That's 1982 and we're in 2010, more or less, almost.